A lot of our people love and uh, admire this man, especially in the West Indies, okay, where my family is, is so-called from, okay? We want to touch on Rastafarianism. Mm -mm -mm. We want to touch on why they smoke that weed, why they grow them dreads, why they uh, um, do what they do. Like why they idolize this man. We right. won't touch on all of that. Why they are in the midst of sin idolizing a man. But after you do this class, we're going to give you a full security detail. Um, shalom and salamta. This is um, Wyndham Raz Alonso Teferi reporting for the Lion of Judah Society. It's, um, it's Thursday, August 11, 2016. It's 8.46 p.m. So I just did this, um, this video in Spanish. Um, and so... We figured we'd bring it forth in English, too, since it was pretty short. Now, it's about the black Hebrew Israelites, you know. So, um, to accompany this, this um, I guess, uh, this meditation, uh, this, uh, this word sound, it will be like a, a short clip on, you know, the haters of themselves, really. So, you know, it's really not that bad. And, you know, I see ones like getting... All up in arms, as some would say, you know, well, let's fight the good fight of faith. And faith requires trust. It requires that, that we um, have confidence. And so, really, if one's, um, if one's really look at this the way that we should, then it's a blessing. You know, they're still our brothers because, and, and even more than that, they're actually doing a good thing. They're helping us because, unfortunately, we ourselves have not been prepared and are, are really not going forth and doing much so this is actually you know the the will of the most high being done truth is truth nothing can ever change truth it may be that the whole world deny truth and believe a lie you know creation itself cannot deny truth truth is embedded in in the consciousness of of the creation I and i testify to truth you know he that is who he is is truth nothing can ever change that nothing so it really doesn't make a difference what people um, say or don't say it makes a difference what ones that's supposed to be true and faithful don't say so it really comes down to us um, I wouldn't make a big deal out of this as a matter of fact you know I'd give I'd give um, credit to them because they obviously have um, good video editing skills you know they look like high quality videos that's pretty cool you know uh, uh, that's a blessing for them uh, I hope they have fun. I hope they like what they're doing. And, you know, there ain't no no real competition because truth is truth, like I said. So what what really must be done is realize that, that it's kind of like a sign in the sense that I and I must study uh, the Bible because that's the glory of His Majesty. The Bible is, is the Word of God, and the Word of God is made flesh in our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, Yeshua HaMashiach. And since I and I as Rastafari aren't really like um, taking up that responsibility, you know, just sending some ones to help us, you know, even though it might it might appear to be like contrary to what is progress um, relative to our life, but um, in, in reality, it's 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 a big help. It's it's a lot of progress because these people have a lot of followers. These people have a lot of connects. These people know a lot of people. So really, what's going on is that they're they're exposing that name, Haile Selassie first, a name that very few even care to. Uh, mention so the fact that they're talking about Rastafari, you know, uh, it's just creating more more momentum for ones to you know have an opportunity to actually um, search it out. And if they don't search it out and just believe a lie, it doesn't make a difference because they probably never even thought about that name anyways. At least now, the name Haile Selassie first and Rastafari is being put out like in um and circulating at a at a more you know it, in more abundance, you know at a faster rate and anyways we that claim to be you know and haven't studied or can't even receive that the bible is his glory you know uh what, what difference does it make or what good has it done so if anything this is a blessing it's helping it you know it gives one the opportunity to check it out um it'll create uh, this this momentum of of interest you know um, some will learn some won't some it doesn't even matter you know it's it's good exposure it's good um media good uh propaganda good um public relations what do you call that it's good it's good advertisement free advertisement 
you know, and if they speak lies or not, the truth is truth. Nothing will, will ever change that. Now, if I were to be upset about this, then I, would, then I wouldn't be showing true faith. Because then I would think that my God is not as powerful as to be in control of his own creation. All things work for the ultimate good, which is his purpose. And his purpose is good because he is good. So if everything's good, nothing can be wrong, you know. So why must I be um, worried? If anything, individuals must be worried that what is the I doing? And it's not to pressure ones to do more than they can, but our responsibility is to do what we can so whatever little we can if we do that then we have realized our responsibility and each individual must think for themselves the way to serve their creator and in doing so they would inevitably inevitably learn the way to serve you know i and i fellow uh brothers sisters neighbors within the human community so i would just like to say this because um you know rastafari in truth is not to be thinking um vengeful because vengeance is of, you know, the most I, God, you know, almighty creator of all things that are good. Let, you know, let Elohim, let the nature of, of his creation, uh, you know, handle its business as, as it does well. Aina is to be merciful and, and um, you know, just, the, you know, the, to, be, to be merciful, to be forgiving, to be loving, to be um, charitable. Uh, all these kind of things far surpass um, the the weakness of of evil. So if we actually go down to 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 these um lower vibrations of hate, hate, anger, you know, it, it's it, it's not good. As a matter of fact, it's really bad. So you know, be happy. You know, be be eyeful. Uh, it's a blessing. They're really doing us a favor. Um, and we give thanks to the black Hebrew Israelite community for doing this, you know, for doing this. It's, it's really, um, ones really need to have faith. And if you're firm on and in your faith, then you would realize that, that what I and I am speaking is true. Also, I think I got to say that, um, what was I going to say that, that, um, if we study, it's not to be debating, it's not to be fighting. That's, that's ridiculous. You know, that's not what, what I and I is supposed to do. You know, we're not, we don't study to, to, to be, you know, debating or to be fighting. Truth is truth. We fight, we, we fight the good fight of faith and we must arm ourselves with a strong faith. We do it for ourselves. We don't do it to convince anyone. Either you're called or you're not. And, you know, it's not to say that we don't go out and attempt, you know, to spread the good news. But, you know, one has to reach a, a, a balance. And where it doesn't become like like this, like you're trying to, I don't know, force people to receive what, you know, most people won't be able to receive, then it wouldn't be that special. So, if anything, we should be more efficient, you know, strategic, and not fall victims to, to this, which is, is a loss already. If you're walking down the street and you start arguing with someone that is obviously not showing any, any intention to learn anything, what difference does it make? It... it it does no good, you know. If ones really wanted to learn, they'd call ones up, you know, with your notebooks, your your Bible, study books, and and just get together and and not make a, a scandal of it, you know. Just come together and learn. Hey, you know, I got some questions. Could you help me? Not trying to humiliate no one. Not trying to win, so called, as if the as if it was possible to win. You know, we do not reward evil for evil. The only thing that could that could um, distinguish us from from being, you know, other than what we're supposed to be, is to be like that which we are not called to be. So we must not reward evil for evil. Good is far superior than evil. But if we reduce ourselves to evil, then, you know, what has changed? Nothing. Still eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. No, we're good. So look at everything for the good that it is. And, and keep it forward. So give thanks to the black Hebrew Israelite communities. They're really doing us a favor. Rastafari, pick it up, study, learn, you know, get grounded, founded, and learned, you know, prepared. It's a personal thing. It's an individual thing. And if ones come about because of our preaching, teaching, and, and you know, um, spreading the news, then, then so be it. But first and foremost, we're supposed to build I and I self from within. 
and that will automatically affect those that we love that are from without and everyone that is within our sphere of influence and that's really what we're called to do just just live a righteous life you know that in itself will make all the difference fighting it causes more problems you know so shalom